What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be addressing something I haven't before in a specific dedicated guide, and that's how to change the amount of dedicated RAM that you give to Minecraft. If you don't already know, giving more RAM to Minecraft usually means better performance, especially when you're running with tons of mods and things like that. Oftentimes, if you're running a beast of a gaming PC, you haven't changed the amount of RAM Minecraft has, and it's being held back for no reason at all, especially if you have tons of RAM available. How do we find out how much RAM we can give Minecraft, and how do we change it? Well, starting off at the very top, how much can we give Minecraft? It's very simple and very specific to your PC. The simplest way to find out is with Control Shift and Escape, pressing those three keys at the same time, to open your Windows Task Manager. Mine looks a bit different as I'm on Windows 11. Regardless, you'll be heading across to the Performance tab, then you'll be heading across to the Memory section, and you'll see a graph something similar to this. Over here in the top right, we have the total amount of RAM in your PC, and down here under Available, the amount of free RAM on your PC. Yours will more likely be, say, 8 or 16 gigabytes up here in the top right, and Windows will probably be using half of it, leaving you with half of whatever you have, whether it's 8 or 4 gigs. Essentially, the more RAM we give Minecraft, the better it'll perform in most cases. If you have tons of RAM available, or aren't sure what you should be shooting for, usually you'll want to give vanilla Minecraft around 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you're running mods, up to say 100 of them, you'll want to go for 4 to 6 gigabytes, and anything above 100 mods or super heavy modded Minecraft, you'll probably need more than 8 gigabytes of RAM for Minecraft specifically. You can't give Minecraft more RAM than you have available and free. For me, I have pretty much two thirds of my RAM available, so I could give Minecraft that much. Of course, this is incredible overkill. More than likely, you'll have, say, 16 gigabytes of RAM four will be used for Windows, leaving you with 12. Of that 12, you can give Minecraft, say, two-thirds of it, and you'll give it 8 gigabytes of RAM. Super simple and easy to understand. Basically, don't give Minecraft more than you have available, and keep in mind the more programs you open, the less available RAM you'll have. So referring to this graph in your task manager is the best way of estimating what you can give it. When you have a good idea, simply open up the Minecraft launcher, and inside of here, on the Java Minecraft tab, we'll head across to Installations. Inside of the Installations tab, simply locate the version of Minecraft you'll want to mess around with, whether it's the latest snapshot, latest release, or Optifine or a modded version. Find whatever you want to customize and give more RAM to. We have to do each of these separately. Click the three dots on the far right hand side. So I'll do it for normal vanilla Minecraft, three dots, then click edit. Inside of here, we'll head across to more options and scroll down. We'll have a look at JVM arguments. XMX 2G means that we're giving Minecraft two gigabytes of RAM. We can simply change this to, to a four. And suddenly the next time we save and start up Minecraft version we just customized, it'll have a maximum of four gigabytes of RAM to go to. If I give it say eight, because I have a ton available, I can click save here, then fire up the latest snapshot by clicking play here or selecting it on this drop down on the play tab and clicking the big play button. And there we go. The next time Minecraft starts up, I'll open a world here and hit F3 to open the in-game console. In the very top right, you'll see memory percentage followed by a rapidly changing number. For some reason, it seems to go up and drop down very rapidly. However, you can see it's using roundabouts one and a half to two and a half gigabytes of RAM, where I have a total of eight gigabytes available for it to take. If you're not doing anything too crazy in game, this number usually won't go too high and you'll have tons available. If you had say 12 available and Minecraft's only eating two gigabytes of RAM, then you'll still have tons available in Windows. However, if I open up the task manager, head across to the processes tab and find Minecraft, you'll see that it's only using four gigabytes of RAM currently, even though I gave it a maximum of eight. So even though you tell it it can eat a huge amount of RAM, it won't necessarily do that all the time. Regardless, when it needs it and it's able to take it, it will and it'll definitely benefit performance wise from it. So if you go too big for whatever mod pack or version you're running, it's not too big of an issue as it won't eat that much unless it needs more RAM. If you run out of RAM and it's having to swap things in and out while you're playing the game, it can lead to huge FPS stutters 
crashing and things like that. So it's really good to make sure you give Minecraft what it needs while you're playing it, especially if you have tons of RAM lying around, which for most modern, high-end or medium-end gaming PCs, you will anyways. So regardless, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.